Hello everybody, Dr. R. Beitman here, and I'm sitting here with Amy, one of our wonderful patients who's had an incredible recovery under upper cervical care. Amy, thank you for your willingness to share your experience with the community. Tell us, what originally uh, caused you to reach out to upper cervical? Well, I was having <clears throat> numbness in my fingertips, and I think it was a result of uh, working long hours on the computer, and I went to my primary care physician, and then sent me to a neurologist, and then the neurologist uh, sent me for an MRI, mm -hmm. which I did, and they found a um, pinched, pinched nerve, mm -hmm. and then he in turn wanted to send me to a surgeon. Mm. And that it's at that point, I my friend Maria's sister also comes here, and um, so she recommended that I come here. Anything is better than surgery, so Obviously, I made an appointment, and my, I've been coming here for, was it two years now? Uh, something like I that. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, that, yeah. the numbness went away, so whatever they did here, it, it prevented surgery, and it really, really helped. How did the problem affect your day-to-day -day life? Well, it would, I would just feel the numbness. Mm -hmm. It was just irritating. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I mean... I, I could do normal activities, but just having numbness, it kind of worried me that there might be something. And so what would you say to the person that's saying, hmm, well, if the numbness went away and it's been two years, then why are you still a patient there? <laughs> well, I... You've chosen a, I, a maintenance process. Yes, I have chosen a maintenance process. And even like I noticed when I drive, I could turn my head Very like good. a lot, a lot more than I normally could. And there's no not as much stiffness and it's been great here. Wonderful, and we know we're building you a better future. So what would you say to the person who's on the other side of their monitor at home, maybe they're facing uh, epidurals or possible surgical consultation, what would you say to the person that's unsure, skeptical uh, about upper cervical care? Well, it, it doesn't hurt. If, if you could prevent any kind of surgery, I think it's an, op uh, it's an option that I would, I would recommend first before having a surgeon go in there with a knife. And so for me, it worked. Fantastic. Amy, thank you so much for taking the time to share your experience and thank you for allowing us to care for you. Sure.